Hey, cheeks! Welcome back to my Macro 7 Reactions for you watching episode 11 today and probably episode 12 as well. I'm not entirely sure yet, but uh, you should know based on the title. <laughs> You know based on the title, so you know, I don't know yet because uh, you're you're seeing this past chase. So, um, yeah. So, what happened last time? Last time we met a little, another female singer. I forgot her name because I honestly don't care. And uh, uh, she uh, she got her spiritual taken down. And uh, it was taken up again because of uh, their singing. And, it, and we learned about the plan to farm spiritual instead of freaking um, taking over worlds for them. Or going to war for them more specifically. So that's the thing that's happening. Also, Ray! Ray's great. Uh, Ray, 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 Ray. <laughs> Ray did, was a badass last episode, so it was amazing. Helped uh, Basara a lot. It was great. Uh, I, I like that he's alive. Thank you for keeping him alive, Cho. <laughs> because I was genuinely scared that he would die. So, I think mean, that's it. Uh, if you think my ma if you think it sounds slightly weird, I have a big old lossage in my mouth because my voice is getting kind of tired. Okay, let's do this. So, there will be two versions of this reaction video. I wish you could be careful to find the description below. And time is finished for watching right now. If you want to sync up your own music, the time is first thing to do that. With five seconds, I'll download it. I'll five. That's not five. <laughs> because that's what they do. And zero is the same thing while I'm just playing on the screen. Um, so, let's go check this out. Uh, timer would go here. Yeah, uh, if I want to baby discussions, we'll be back over on YouTube sometimes. Sometimes, sometimes, Bichu takes my videos on YouTube and puts them on my YouTube channel. I know how to do, how to get rid of that. I my account is not linked there, so <laughs> leave a like in the description and take a look at chance. Let me check my recording. There we go. I have a big pimple. It's gonna distract me every time I look myself on the camera. Melody! Soon as you let you to seven moon. Seven moon! He was a pilot. It's that thing is love block. I forgot about that. That's such a cool blend. Yeah. Okay. Uh. Oh, Lin Min Mei. Look at that face. You don't look anything like her. You're way too happy right now. <laughs> why is why is Milene so happy right now? Milene. 
You guys see me and me? <laughs> Sorry. Me and me video. <laughs> Excuse me. Come on, give it the flowers. She is being annoying. Oh, he's gonna play the role, he gonna? That's very cute. Uh, give the flowers, come on. They need to meet. That the Statue of Liberty? Are we? Are we in Space America? So I actually want to do it. Me, Milen, you're being annoying right now. It's cute, but still. Okay, we have big old Zinchadis. Oh, Ray's the leader. That actually makes so much sense. No one else can lead. <laughs> no one else can lead in this group. Yes. <laughs> Yep. They're just eating. <laughs> Chocolate check. Hey. She called a bunch of humans. <gasps> We're just using the, the shots from last from the show. Not a problem, I like it. Oh, oh. <laughs> ah. Yeah, yeah. Go, go, Ray. Ray, best boy. Best boy, best man. He's a man. 
That's a lie. I have no idea what that means. That's where they came from, apparently. Hmm. Hmm. Foreshadowing. Hmm. Spirit shot. Yummy, yummy spirit shot. Hmm. -hmm. Apparently you're a dude. I still can't get over it. Give them the flowers. Come on. Oh, no, was that? Oh, there we go. For the love of my life. Yeah. What do you mean? Ah. Seven kids. I did not expect that, okay. <sighs> Bobby. No. No. You have Gamil or whatever his name is. Eh. Mean me. I like that shot. Eh. She's so worried. Like, what is this guy doing? <laughs> Kubava's man. <laughs> Following her. Oh, you went the wrong way. Oh, no. That is... No. Dude, Milen, run. Milen, run. Get out of the car. Milen, 
And then punch him. <laughs> and then punch him. Lucky cat punch. Friendship punch. Oh, okay. Do you don't try to grab? Punch him. Punch him. Punch him. There we go, a slap. That's good enough. That's good enough. Oh my god, it's a mask. No, 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 no. Basara? No! Okay, okay. Vampire. Thank you! Yeah, yeah, put him in a coma. Put him in a coma, it's fine. Basara's gonna save you. Just put the other guy in a coma. It's okay. Don't care. Nah, leave him behind. <laughs> leave him behind. It's okay, just leave him behind. <laughs> I'm such an asshole. <laughs> Run over him. <laughs> Basta would never do that. Ha! Even Kubaba said. Hey, it's her! How many flowers are she, is she like wasted now? Mm hmm. Excuse me, burps. Excuse me, let me check something. Kyun, 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 arashi me kare da pailoto. Kyun Kyun, Atashi no Kareta, Piloto.
<laughs> that shot was really good. I like that I keep using that because that was really good. Saturday night. No more whistling, son. Everybody! Dancing on the planet, dance! Nice, it's a duet now. Excuse me, I'm really sleepy today. And he's with Berlin. It's riveting. Riveting. <laughs> uh, you're still rolling, right? Hey, everybody! Hey! I was. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Dancing on the planet, dance! Yeah! You can see Lin Lin made this. And they're gone. You do? I don't. Ah, that's what you meant. Okay. <laughs> We can talk about that. I already wrote it down. Okay. Okay. Let's talk about this episode. Okay. <sighs> Fun. First of all, uh, we start off very simply with the setup for the episode. There being they're gonna be cast to become this part of the story of Lin Min Mei's documentary thingy mu movie, whatever. And uh, <laughs> English. And um, Min Mei video. Other Lin Min Mei is right now. Um, <laughs> freaking Milan is being kind of annoying, but it's kind of cute at the same time, so it's okay. <laughs> so yeah. I wonder what Guava is. I wonder what Guava is exactly. This girl! She needs to give the flowers at some point. We're still, we're still not halfway through, so it's okay. But still, 
I don't want that to just be a running gag. I want it to be a, a conclusion to this girl's story. Okay, these guys are working, and then Melanie's parents. The main feature of this video is the historical idol singer. Okay, let's talk about this now because this is the serious part of this, of this episode. I'm going to withdraw because this is propaganda. <laughs> propaganda. That's what it is. Yep. So that makes sense because um. We know that Basar is a pacifist for the most part and he does not want to harm anyone and he probably doesn't look at uh, the military in a very good light. So him realizing that, oh, we're recruiting people with this movie into the military, that means I don't want any part of this. Because we actually learn about this later as well, is the idea that he's trying to follow Min Mei's footsteps. We, we kind of know that already, but uh, it was like genuinely, um, what's it really for? That's what I'm looking for. Like, uh, uh, I can't think of a word. I can't English today. I'm sorry. I might not even do the next video I'm recording because of this. But, um, I can't think of a word. Fuck. Confirmed. It was confirmed that uh, he actually wants to be like Min Mei, where we're singing to a better future. That's really interesting. So, yeah, the parallels being made there is really cool. Because uh, in the fight later on, we actually show Min Mei singing and then together with. Uh, them singing here Like we keep cutting between the two things. So that's really neat because uh, it's a parallel being made there, right? Not much I want to talk about this episode. This show is kind of slow, but this is probably one of my favorite episodes <laughs> Okay, I just I just love the fact that Ray's the leader uh, That makes so much more sense than Basara or Milen being the leader <laughs> or even I forgot how to pronounce her name I know how to spell her name, but I can't pronounce it. Anyways, uh, the drummer. Um, yeah. Uh, Ray is the only candidate for becoming a leader in this group. Because Ray is the most mature out of every one of them. And he is the one that is uh, not bound by his um, wild ass emotions compared to say Milen and Basara who are always going... <laughs> who are always um, a bit too swayed by how they feel. So. Uh, and also they're kind of young and Ray's probably the oldest out of all of them, so that makes sense. Basa, and uh, Basa, Ray being the leader is probably one of my favorite things. <laughs> because Ray's so cool. I freaking love Ray. It's so cool. Them talking about the thing that, uh, what are they gonna do with the vampires and all that, okay. Spiritia. Why is there Space America? We just built the Statue of Liberty somewhere else or did we actually bring the entire thing here? Why did you turn to a mic? Were you that crazy over my dad? I mean, they were. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of the reason why. Like, it was actually really sweet. Their uh, their little romantic relationship back in uh, Super Dimension Fortress. Uh, it's the F Macross. It was actually really sweet. Their little conversations. They're, they're so cute together. And <laughs> yeah. Also, we haven't broken up. <laughs> it's really interesting. <laughs> because you know. I actually thought that they broke up as well because they're always fighting and all that and it seems like they, they, they have this distance between them so I kind of also assume that they've broken up as well <sighs> Interesting Um Yeah So it's still a secret from everyone else, understood? Yeah, sure And then Bobby is a, is a dumbass haircut <laughs> That's so different from my hair Except mine is curly and his is straight. <laughs> uh, we're gonna get some cake, and then Basara just follows them because Ray definitely knows what's up. Like, isn't it Ray here? Yeah. Like Ray's like, uh, this is gonna be some trouble. Hey. Remember, kids, don't force yourself upon a woman. Let me rephrase that. Remember, kids, don't force sexual anything upon anyone out of their will, against their will. Never. If you if. If you ever do something like that, they are under under all circumstances justified to hit you and hurt you and potentially kill you if you're being too harsh on them. <laughs> Depends. If, if they're being, being really, really violent, I think I would have been okay with them dying. <laughs> this guy isn't being very violent and uh, apparently he's really into being slapped. So he's a masochist. Gotcha. Okay. Like me, sorry, what? No, that's not, that's not. 
Look at this guy. Okay, uh, vampire. I, I'm, I'm kind of glad that a vampire is here right now. <laughs> Just get rid of all his willpower. Get rid of all his passions. Get rid of his spirit shot because this guy's an asshole. Be careful. I, I, I would have been okay with them leaving him behind. <laughs> nah, nah, let's not do that. Like, it's not that evil. Like, we actually stopped him as well, so it should be okay. You know, no, actually, now that I think about it, based on what Basar said and what the manager guy said, or whatever he is, um, whatever his role is here, they said that, oh, he always goes to this hotel. Makes me think that he always forces himself upon the female staff. Female staff. Because apparently there's a hotel that he always goes to, right? <sighs> yeah, leave him behind with the vampire. <laughs> just, just leave him behind with the vampire. It doesn't matter. It should be fine. Yeah. And it still becomes that. Doesn't want any of the propaganda stuff. This is really cute. First of all, her outfit is really cute. Secondly, them sitting in this in the ship like this. Aww. And then they actually record the fight. I wonder what they're gonna do with the fight. With the, the recording of the fight. Because they really can't use that for the... Uh, can they? Can they use this for... Uh... No, I don't think they can because Higuro doesn't sing. Yeah, they can't do that. And Milen gets a better understanding of what Basar is trying to do. It's really cool. I think I understand now. The legendary sword of Yin Yin Mei. The sword has been forgotten with time. It's just like the drama being filmed now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently, it's not even that accurate because, you know. We need to make it spicy. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think we're done. Uh, let me check my notes after fixing some stuff. Let me, let me check my let me do this, do this, do this. Right, let me check my notes. Um, <sighs> I'm tired. <laughs> I can keep going though. I can keep going. Um, this has been fun. Next episode is gonna come up next, so uh, we're gonna do that. So I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna sync everything up. Go to the toilet. All that stuff. Alright, let us watch episode 12 of Super, uh, Super Dimension. Macro 7, not Super Dimension. Uh, Macro 7, uh, I'm gonna do this, do this. Okay, timer base will have a timer, PAP will not seal its part, and timer will go here. Yeah! That's <laughs> all I did. No, 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 Let me check my recording just to be safe. Shoot the star. Oh, now it's with me. Melody. Oh, shit, they go to seven moon. Ouch, itchy. What time is it? Do I still have time for another video? I think I do. Number seven, let's go. Okay, what happened previously? It's episode 12, right? Yeah. But this is episode 12, right? Yeah, it's episode of I keep checking because uh, this is not what happened in the last episode. This is what happened a long time ago. Vampires.
I'm scared. Like I used to uh have the wrong file ops like twice already now. There we go. Bobby. Okay. Hey, she's already come out. Help, go over. Ah, nice. British farm. Okay, we're gonna learn about that. Nice. <laughs> Where are you Kimono doing this? <laughs> he just doesn't care. Oh, that's fancy. What's this? What's this? Uh Ah, okay. Bodyguards. Uh, yes. Oh, no. Goodbye. <laughs> it's so weirded out this. It's weirded out by this. Ah, uh, <laughs> bye bye. Got hit. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no.
Whoa, it's big. <laughs> yep. Hot. Yep. Non dote. Excuse me. That's a lot. Yeah. What are those names? Great. Oh, I'm so sleepy today. I need to record one more video after this. Okay. Mm. Spirit Chahan Projecto. Mm. Okay, we need so far. <laughs> wow, that is a strong head or a very weak wall. Why am I so yawning today? Excuse me, I have to blow my nose a bit. How about I give you a helpful boyfriend? Oh, interesting. You understand Guava? <laughs> Scanning.
Excuse me. Ah, it's gonna be hard. Yeah. Basara. Nekki Basara. Boke for me then. Unfortunately. <laughs> Why did you say you're looking for me then? Yeah. Yeah. Ha! Huh, she's in a rock bed! I've been disillusioned! <laughs> wow. That was a necessary basada. Yosh! I am so yawny and because of that I need to it's not coming out. Hey! How, why did you follow them up to here? Everybody dancing on the planet, yeah. No more wishing love. Hey, everybody. Jumping on the planet, dance. Hey. Hey. Yeah, let's go. No more wasted love. Hey, let's go! It's great! Hey, everybody!
Yeah. Jumping on planet Thunder? Thunder? Bacana! <laughs> Just... <laughs> Gamlin, that's his name. I wrote it down, but I can't read it anymore because my handwriting shit. Oh no. That's a neat bit of uh, animation there. Also uh, neat. Let me try the gun. <laughs> nice! Also, pinpoint barrier, that's the thing in uh, Super Dimension 4 Smagos. No more wasting love. Ah, Wait, what? Where are we going? Where are we going?
Wow. Series 7 gonna be the entire farm? That's all about this episode. Uh, first of all, I wanna say, let's start with some criticism because uh, I've not criticized Magma 7 that much yet. <laughs> I think the only criticism I gave it is that, oh, it's kinda slow at start. And it's actually picking up the pace right now. I actually really like that. Here's a little bit of criticism I wanna point out because uh, I actually talked about this in Super Dimension Fortress Macross and it's a lot of the time the most boring parts of the show are the random fights that happen which is interesting because in any other anime the fights would be like the highlight <laughs> of the show but they just kind of throw like random fights out dogs are barking not ours can't do much about it but they just kind of throw random fights out there that I really don't care about at all <laughs> but this part is actually really neat because uh I just realized that, but uh, this the fight here is actually makes perfect sense because the guy was used as a decoy so that they can fold CD7 somewhere. That should make sense, so it's not this episode specifically, but there's quite a few episodes in this uh, Micro 7 so far that does that. Sorry about that. Uh, sorry about the dogs barking, not ours. Can't do much about it. Is it being picked up? Also, there's a fire truck going by. This is gonna be loud. Yep, it's being picked up. Yep. <sighs> Give me a Okay, so if you've seen me get distracted by something before on this channel, you should know that uh, I lose track of literally everything I was thinking of. I already lost track of what I was thinking of right now. I don't know what I'm talking about anymore, so this is going to be a shorter project part of the video because I literally forgot everything. <laughs> that happens all the time whenever there's loud noises, so I really, I, I really need a soundproof room. <laughs> I don't know how to do that. Uh, uh. Okay, so Milen is wearing the kimono, which is very cute on her. Vasara doesn't give a shit that she's going on a date. He's, he's just like, good! Yes! <laughs> That's really funny to me. Because I was like, does Vasara or Milen, either one of them like each other or both? I was like, maybe not. Now that I think about it. Maybe they're just really good friends. Uh, yeah, I think they're just really good friends. Also, Milen blushing about that is really cute. <laughs> uh, give me a moment. There we go. They're watching her and learn about, learn about Guvava questions about the whole singing thing. <laughs> uh, give me a moment. I need to check something. I need to check something. Mal Marcos Seven. Let me check something. This was airing on 1994. How? bad was the prejudice for rock music back then. I wasn't alive back then, so yeah, I was born in 1998. So, uh, I don't know how bad the prejudice for rock music was back then. That's kind of that's interesting to me. Because a lot of people here are like, oh, ew, they're doing rock music. Like, even uh, Milan's dad was like, uh, oh, uh, I, don't, I don't get the kind of music she does, but okay, I'll, I'll cheer her on. I'll cheer her on. Yeah. Guvava. I was, I don't know, I, was, I wasn't expecting that to happen that she was actually gonna get kidnapped. But for some reason, I was like, they're, never, they're not gonna do anything bad to her because she's a really cute mainish character. So, they're probably not gonna do anything too bad to her. And that's why I was like, not, <laughs> not as uh, surprised. <laughs> she, she was kidnapped. Okay, there's a connection between these two people, but other than that, nothing else. It's like, my dream you can come true. I wonder if what they're gonna do with City 7 is that they're literally gonna make that into the farm. The entirety of the city is gonna be a farm where they basically, excuse me, they basically um, take the spirit shot, they're gonna perform, they're gonna sing, and then they're gonna take the spirit shot again. That's that kind of stuff. <sighs> okay, maybe they can do that. I don't know how. Max learns about Basara and Milan's connection. You can't even take care of your date. <laughs> Basara is kind of an asshole and I love it for it. I love him for it. Okay. And then they sing. I do like this, the whole thing of just sing. It's everything's gonna be okay. I think that's one of the biggest uh themes of the show so far is that uh, if you can sing, if you can express yourself, you can sing your heart out, you can you can go, you can move past whatever it is that you're going through right now. It's really cool. I like that. Um, 
And then they found Milen. Yay! <sighs> and then they sang Series 7. I do. Oh, it's all the pinpoint uh, barrier. That's really cool. That's a really cool callback because I remember that from Super Dimension Fortress Macros. Um, I remember that so well because, you know, it was the thing where. Um, excuse me? It was the thing where. Hmm, burps. It was the thing where um, uh, they had to put like very specific points, a barrier up there, and that's what that's how they protect the, the specific areas. And it actually uses it for an offensive move, so that's cool. To punch something with a barrier in it on it. And series seven teleports. Okay. Guess good enough. Um, anything else? Um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what's gonna ha what's gonna happen next. Like, we at least we actually broke the formula of uh, we're gonna perform, we're gonna get new fans while uh, Basara sings on the on the enemies. We we broke that formula a while back, so I'm kind of glad that we did that. But um, I don't know where we're going with this now. I get the feeling we're gonna focus on the farm now. So that's interesting. But other than that, I don't know where we're going at all. So, yeah, I don't know. So where do we go now? Where do we go now? Where do we go now? Anyways, um, <laughs> uh, interesting. Um, other than that, uh, Milen is an interesting character, really. I think we're getting more and more from Milen lately for the past few episodes, which is interesting because I do like Milen a lot. Um, I like Basara more though. <laughs> Basara is interesting. Uh, his whole thing of being a pacifist but at the same time making sure that he can fight whenever he needs to protect someone and then immediately regretting that decision is an interesting dynamic to have within himself like an inter intrapersonal thing going on and it's really cool. I quite like that. Um, uh, freaking Ray is great. Um, I don't know what else to say. Uh, I wonder what Kim... I forgot his name again. Gimel, Gimtel, whatever his name was. I, I wonder what he's gonna think of uh, Milen now. I wonder if he's, he's just gonna be like, uh, we, should, we, we should stop seeing each other. I learned that you're in a rock band. Oh no! You know, if it were me, like a girl in a rock band would be like a really high plus. As someone who enjoys music a lot, uh, yeah, that would be a really big plus for me. But again, 1994, 1995, I don't know how, how, uh, how bad the prejudice was back then. Especially with like older people. Like, Max is older than Milen. Right? Not Max, uh, Gimel, or whatever his name was. Uh, he's a lot older than Not a lot, but he's a bit older than Milen, so that's interesting. I think I, should, I don't have the energy to record another one. Because um, I, I plan to record by family today, but... Um, I got distracted and uh, my brain isn't working as fast anymore. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna stop recording this in this. So yeah, I think I'm done. Uh, I forgot. I definitely forgot to talk about some things. I am sorry. <laughs> Anyways, that is it for me for now. So if you want to see the next episode of action and discussion, go to everyone else in the that location below. If you help out, you don't have to do it again. Don't do it with me. Help channel out. Also, if you like and subscribe to channel, I'll be fine. Bye.